guys, it's Bella and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a plan with me for March 27th to April 2nd, and I'm going to be using the Teddy Bread kit from Lina Designs, which this is my first time using a Lina Designs kit. Um, and as I said in my previous video, I have already put the sidebar, the bottom washi and the date covers. Um, and for this spread, I did also pull in a sidebar sticker from Sadie stickers just because I bought the mini kit, I guess, like not the ultimate kit. So um, it doesn't come with like sidebar items besides the habit trackers. So yeah, so I did get the deco add-on. Um, also apologies if this video is very bright. I do have my artificial lights on. The sun has come back, but I'm scared it's gonna go away while I'm filming. So I have this on just in case. Um, but yeah, so here are the icons. And then um, we have the full boxes and I have already put the foil on top. So I'm using a foil bundle from uh, Happy Sticker Designs. So these are the full boxes. Then we've got the labels page, pattern labels, the headers and little things, and then the deco and sidebar and sort of layering sheet. And then this was the um, bottom washi and uh, headed, not headers, date covers, um, which I've already used. So yes. And then I will just quickly show you what I have in the bundle. So I do have this page, which is an add-on. So this is, the, I think, add-on number one, um, script add-on number one. So it's got some, blah, 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 some scripts, some date dots and some hole protectors. And this is in light gold. Um, and then I have this page, which just has some headers and then one of the little sidebar headers. Then we've got some, um, deco bits and then this was the like foil overlays and then I do have two pages of underlays so I'm going to do something different and use underlays this week um but I'm probably only going to use one set um and then this did also come with some extra headers as well so yes so I'm just going to um get started with the base and as always I do have my reasonable sticker book with my um icons for the week but yeah I'm just going to start off with the base and then we'll move into the day by day um, and yeah, hopefully this video isn't too bright. I will try to fix it, um, on the editing software if it is, but yeah, like I said, I'm just scared of losing light, um, because it is basically almost three o'clock when I'm filming this and we are in autumn in Australia. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, um, as I mentioned in the intro, I have already done my bottom washi, my sidebar and my date covers. Um, and I think moving forward, I'll sort of just do this if I want to. So like for some spreads, you'll probably see me do the whole thing on camera and other spreads, it'll be like this where I'm just doing my headers and full boxes and sort of anything else. So like underlays, if I've got underlays or whatnot, and then the deco, of course. But yeah, um, just because sometimes like I just get in a mood and I want to plan, but I don't want to do it off camera. Um, although I think eventually like one day I'll probably have to do a spread off camera. Um, but yeah um so that's why like when I get in one of those modes maybe I like allow myself to sort of do the base like this and then I can film it when I do the video like you know do the um headers and boxes and whatnot and then other spreads I can just do like the full the full thing um so I hope you don't mind but I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward um so yeah so you'll probably see like a mix of um bases in my videos because yeah I think I like sort of asked for opinions in my previous video um but yeah, I think I just kind of like had a little think about it and I am think moving forward, that's going to be the way I, that I go is sort of just like, um, yeah, doing it like as I feel. So if I feel like doing the base, I'll do the base. And then if not, it'll be all done on camera. Um, but yeah, so just doing my headers, my four boxes. And then for this spread, because this foil bundle that I had came with a fundalays, I decided to use a one set, which I think is also something I'm going to do moving forward. So like if I buy a foil bundle that um, doesn't have the option to like not have underlays or fundalays or whatever it may be, um, then in that case, I will probably use one set, um, obviously depending on like the kit that I'm using because um, underlays also need like a certain amount of boxes to sort of like fill it out. So um, yeah, it kind of depends on the kit that I'm using, but um, I think that's also what I'm going to do. So, yes. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting in, like I said, the full boxes, the headers and the underlays. And then I did end up switching, um, that full box on the Monday, sort of moving it down because I realized that my pattern wouldn't make sense otherwise, because I normally do like a three, two, three pattern. So three boxes at the top, not including the sidebar, 
two in the middle and two at the bottom. Did I say three, two, three? I meant three, two, two. Um, but yeah. So yes. And then just also trying to alternate like the different styles of overlays because I did also add all the overlays on the boxes and the headers off camera. Um, but yeah. And um, I put the scene in the middle, which I do really enjoy. So just doing that. Also, apologies in advance if the lighting in this video is wonky. Um, firstly, the sun was being really weird when I filmed. Like it was super dark when I started filming and then the sun kept coming back and forth. So um, the lighting sort of goes in and out. And then I'm also using my artificial light, which I, uh, this is my second time using it. So again, still learning how to use it, but like just testing it to see like which setting it needs to be on and all that kind of stuff. So um, next time I use it, I might change the brightness and I don't know, the coloring maybe, but we'll see. But yeah, this week my um, light arrived that I ordered on Amazon. We had some K-pop comebacks and I also binge watched um, a few series on Netflix. So that's sort of like my um, events of the week, which I'll sort of discuss in depth when we get to the day by day. Um, but yeah, another chill week, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, just putting in the deco and also the little foiled um, teddy bears from the bundle. And then we will go into the day by day. Um, but yeah, just making sure that I have enough deco left to use in the spread because I do like to use summer deco for my work scripts. Okay, so starting off on the day by day, first thing that I marked in on Monday was that I went to Pilates, so just using a um, label and then the Pilates girl from Fox and Cactus. For this spread, I decided to color block, which I think turned out really, really nicely because um, even though this is like the mini kit version of like, because um, Linda Designs has like a mini kit and an ultimate, um, it still came with plenty of boxes um, in all the different colors. So yeah, and like different styles and whatnot. So I thought it was kind of nice to color block. So marked in Pilates, like I said, and then I used a coffee cup from the icons sheet to mark in getting a coffee after Pilates um, because there is a cafe like a couple doors down. So normally when I do like a morning class, I like to go and get a coffee afterwards um, and then sort of drink it on my way home and sort of just chill with my coffee because it saves me making one when I get home with my breakfast. So um, yeah, which I ended up using a foiled script from the bundle that said Coffee Monday for that. So um, I did add that in off camera um, and I did also fill everything in off camera. So the only scripts that I put in on camera are my work scripts, which you'll see me do in a second. Um, but yeah, just because I wasn't sure what I was going to use. Um, so I didn't want to like put stickers from the bundle and then like not be happy with how it looked, if you know what I mean, like using too many scripts, if that makes sense. So um, I just wanted it to look sort of even. Um, but yeah, then I marked in washing my hair with that shampoo bottle sticker from Paper K, who I recently just ordered from in the PBC. So I actually ordered more of these stickers and a few other things. So very excited for that. Um, I marked in doing a voiceover. That sticker is from Fox and Pip. And then I marked in going to work with a piece of deco and the work script from the foil bundle, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the intro, but the foil bundle is from Happy Sticker Designs. Um, and then at the after work, I marked in um, some technical issues. So basically we have this machine at work um, that sort of like counts our money um, before and after like the shifts. So like we used to do the tills and it was just having issues that day. So um, I thought that was something fun to mark in because I didn't really have anything else that day to mark. So um, marked that in with a little technical difficulty sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then I marked in paying my yoga membership because my mom and I had done like a month trial at this yoga studio and we did really um, enjoy it so we thought we would continue going there so um the way they do their sort of classes you can pay as like casual or you can do like a class pass or you can get like a auto bill sort of membership that lets you go to like as many classes as you want in a month so we just decided to go with the membership so that credit card icon is from hello petite paper, hello petite paper trying to say that too fast and then at the bottom i marked in watching bojack horseman because i have been um watching that sort of on and off for a little while. So I think that day I finished the first season and started the second one. Um, so I, again, I used a little binge watch script from the bundle, which I'll add in um, at the end of the spread. And the TV icon uh, is from Linda Designs. I think it was from one of the freebies that came with this order. So yeah, 
Then on Tuesday, I marked in my Office 365. Um, so I used a piggy bank from Casey Creates for that. Then I pre-uploaded a plan with me. So that um, girl sticker is from Linda Designs from Carly's Freebie. Then I marked in bringing the bins in. So that Primrose is from Tickle Pink Planning. Had work again in the evening. And then that day, um, Bam Bam had his comeback. Um, so I used the AirPods from the um, icons sheet. And then that day, I was just feeling very exhausted. I feel like work was probably a mess that day as well, as it always is on a Tuesday. So um, I used the burnt out sticker from Once More With Love. Then on Wednesday, I had a lazy morning. So I used the PJs girl from Fox and Cactus and a lazy day script from the bundle. I received my light that day. So I ordered um, an artificial light from Amazon, um, sort of like a ring light, but it's not ring shaped, if that makes sense. It's more of like a, like a panel. Um, so that is what I'm using in this video, but um, I also used it in um, one of my earlier March plan with me's. So that um, sticker is from the Style Planner. Then I marked in doing some digital planning. So that sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I did some Korean notes. I set up my light. And then that night we went to see John Wick Chapter 4, which I really enjoyed. I definitely preferred it over the third one. And I kind of hope they don't make any more because I feel like it ended on like a solid note, if that makes sense. Like the ending makes sense. And so I feel like if they do any more, um, it just won't, won't make sense. So um, the pencil icon was from Paper K. The light globe was from the Honeybee Shop. And then um, Primrose with the chop top and popcorn is from Tickle Pink Planning. Then on Thursday, I marked in getting up early. So that coffee cup is from um, Paper Milk. I marked in going to driving. So that car icon is from the icons page. Then my plan of me went live. So again, the um, laptop from the icons page. Um, and then we did some grocery shopping. So again, used some um, at, blah, blah, used an icon from the icons page with a grocery shopping script from the bundle. I filmed a plan of me. Um, so again, used, it, used an icon from the bundle, not from the bundle, from the icons page, which is an add-on. Um, we went to yoga that night, so I used a yoga mat from Beautiful Planning, who's no longer open. Um, we only went to yoga on Thursday because my mom was a 9 to 5 this week, so we wouldn't have made it to the class on Wednesday, which is why we went to the cinema instead. Um, so that was that. And then that night I decided to binge watch um, on my blog Free Ridge, which is sort of like, not a follow-up, but like, yeah, of on my blog. Um, which, mm, I don't know. I wasn't as obsessed with it as I was with On My Block. Like, On My Block, especially the earlier seasons, like the first two seasons, one of my favorite Netflix shows. So, um, I mean, I didn't have high hopes, which is why I sort of put off watching it for so long, because I think it came out in February or January, something like that. Um, but it kept coming up on my, like, recommendations. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch it and see how you go. Um, but, yeah, don't know if they're going to do a second season. Um but um, it would be interesting to see like what they do with it because I feel like they ended it like in a way that was exciting, but like, I don't know, the build up to get there just wasn't worth it in my opinion. Um, so I don't know, like it was, it was easy to watch because it's only, I think eight episodes. So I watched the, pretty much the first, I think five or six that day, but yeah, definitely wasn't like something that I was like hooked on or anything. Um, but I ended up like finishing it because I just, I don't know, like I said, it got a bit more interesting towards the end, but like it was a bit hard to get into and the characters weren't very likable and I don't know, it was just, yeah, um, I don't know. Then on Friday, I had a lazy morning. So the um, slippers are from Marshmallow Studio. Again, I washed my hair, had a YouTube binge. So that laptop is from The Littlest Planner and I used a YouTube binge script from the bundle. Went to work and then Jisoo from Blackpink had her solo release this day. So she was the last of the Blackpink members to have a solo. Um, which I did really enjoy hers. Um, I'd say my favorites would probably be um, her solo and Lisa's solo. Um, and then Jenny's solo was all right, but I didn't really like um, Rosé's solo. So that's my thoughts on that. But yeah, so I used the like um, phone slash MP3 player. I don't really know what that's supposed to be um, from the style planner. I think it's supposed to be an MP3 player, but it could be wrong or a phone. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then again, I finished on my block. Free Ridge. So that sticker is from Fox and Cactus. And then the Netflix one on the Thursday is from Tick Big Planning. Then on Saturday, I marked in my Babe Box subscription. So that um, piggy bank again from Casey Creates. I had a lazy morning because I just sort of slept in and didn't really do much because I 
Didn't have work until later in the morning, so that sticker is from the uh, uh, no, once more love. Almost said coffee months ago. Um, and then I went to work. So again, a work script from the bundle, and then the rest of the icons were from the icons page. So I had a bit of a sore knee, which um ended up coming an ongoing thing. And like it sort of came and went. Um uh so yeah, it just ended up being like the muscles in my leg being too tight and putting pressure on my knee, which is not fun, but nothing serious, thankfully. Um, Mum and I watched Crazy Rich Asians, and then I went to bed early because I was exhausted. Then on Sunday, I marked in the end of daylight savings, which technically we don't have daylight savings in my state, um, but a few of the states over east do, and so I just wanted to mark that down so that um, I remembered that we are now back to two hours time difference between here and um, the east coast, and then slightly less of a time difference between a couple of the other states, but yeah. Then I marked in sort of having a sleep in. Can't remember if we were supposed to go to Pilates this day or like we just didn't have anything, but um, that sticker is from the icon sheet. And then I used a sleep in script from the bundle. We booked yoga and Pilates for the following week. So again, icon from the icons page. Did a grocery run. So that sticker is from Carly's freebie, I believe. And then pulled some stickers for another video. Um, and then this was the day that I started watching The Glory, which is a K-drama. I... I was obsessed. Um, basically, I kept getting videos on my TikTok of like different scenes and like edits and whatnot, and I just decided to watch it. Um, and I was obsessed. I watched like the first four episodes this day, and then I finished it in like another three days or something. So yeah, and then I um, set up my digital planner. So the um, TV was from the icons page, and then the new K drama from JK Creates, and then the um, planning sticker from. What's with love? And then my highlight was um, getting my filming set up already. So I used an icon from the icons page. Here is the finished spread, and I do really like how it turned out. Um, I will say I had some problems with writing on these stickers. Um, so originally I started off with my Penta and a gel, which normally is fine writing um, on glossy with like gel pens, like you just gotta let them dry. But I don't know, this one was leaving like a weird film on my pen um, and I was scared that it was going to smudge. So then I decided to switch to some permanent markers, which um, like I will keep in mind that these are old. So it could also be that, but um, I used this Sharpie permanent marker in ultra fine point, um, which I used for most of it, but I felt like at some point it started drying out. So I had to sort of like let it sit with the lid on and then try again. Um, and I did also use the um, Unipin fine line in 0 0.5, um, which this isn't like a permanent marker, but it's like a pigment mark. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's like not a, like it's not a gel pen or anything, but it's not like a permanent marker. It's like an art pen kind of thing. Um, and yeah, that again, I felt it sort of drying out a little bit. So I think going forward, um, I might just, because she does offer her kits as printables, I might just buy her kits as printables and then print it on my own glossy paper. Um, or otherwise, I think she offers premium matte, um, so maybe I could try her premium matte instead. Um, but yeah, that was the only thing I noticed, so I don't know if that's just like a batch thing or if her stickers are always like that, because um, I did get this on glossy, and like I said, I've very rarely had issues with my pens um, on sticker paper, unless it's like, you know, vinyl or that kind of thing where it's very obvious that it's not sort of made to fit. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I think I remember I used a, um, glam planner kit and I used like a, an art pen on it and that dried out, but that could have just been because of an art pen and not like a permanent marker or thing. But yeah, anyways, just thought I would note that, but yeah, um, so here is the spread. I did also add in the foiled scripts sort of after the fact because I wasn't sure which ones I was going to use. So um, I added in Coffee Monday, Binge Watch, Lazy Day Up Here, Grocery Shopping, YouTube Binge, and Sleep In. So they were all from the foil bundle. I'm just going to keep wiggling this, but yeah. Also, I feel like having my light was a good idea because it is now four o'clock, so about an hour since I started filming, and the sun is really kind of gone like it's there but it's not bright so yeah um i'll show you what i have left from the kit so from the deco not deco i keep saying want to say deco the icon add-on i just have a few icons which i'll keep in my reusable sticker book but i did make really good use of this so um 
yeah, I really like that. And also I guess the other positive thing of if I buy her printables instead is that her printables come in the like ultimate format with all the add-ons included. So um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, then from the kit itself, you can see here, I was like pen testing because I was trying to work out like what was going on. Um, so yeah, like it writes, but it like kind of skips a little bit um, with the gel pen and then it sort of like just dries out and then it looks like it's like it's wet. Um, so like it looks like the pen's not going to dry and I just didn't want to risk smudging it. So anyways, from this page, I just have some plain labels. This is upside down. Um, I have two pieces of deco, two squared off boxes and two labels and I have a tracker. Um, some more patterned labels, but I did make pretty good use out of the labels, which was really good. Um, two of these box labels, three glitter headers and then a little thing. And then these were the two pages that I used in full, which were the full boxes and the bottom washi page. So that is everything from the kit. And then from the foil bundle, I have one full page of underlays and sort of like headers. And then the rest of the scripts page. So these will go in my reusable sticker book um, because some of these things I would use, but I just didn't have them this week, like payday, um, getting my nails done, that kind of thing, um, shopping, etc. So yeah um and then some of these things i had but like i didn't have multiples of so like i had a delivery but i wanted to use this sticker but then ha maybe had i had another like happy mail or something i could have used the happy mail script you know that kind of thing um so yeah i'll probably just save these in my resource stick book for like another week and then these will go like the date covers will go into my little folder that i have for my date covers and then these will probably be de-stashed because i don't use whole reinforcers and then again just another um box of bougie so those will be de-stashed probably because um i don't think i will use them again um unless i sort of have a theme that's similar to this or like with bears in it um and then i just have some of this little bear deco and then this was the full box page and then i just have some headers here um and this was the bottom washi page so yeah that is it for um this spread but yeah as you can see i used my gel pen on this page on like on this sticker which is um premium mat and that was fine so um pen is still fine um but yeah something to note which was not what I was expecting at all but um that is fine now I know for next time so yeah that is it for this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe as always all the shops I've used will be listed down below along with any um codes and coupons and I will see you in my next video which I think will be my April lineup if I end up filming it because I kind of want to do an April lineup video but I feel kind of silly doing it because we're almost in May um so yeah I'm probably going to film an April lineup maybe maybe not I don't know I haven't decided yet if not my next video will be my quarter one flip through so yeah that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one bye guys